Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Nitro or Nitro laptop. This is a Nitro 5. The exact model is an AN515-52-738F. I'll put that on the screen. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can repaste, clean the heatsink, the fan and everything inside. If yours is overheating, shutting down or it's just slowing down over throttling the CPU, then you might want to open and do a repaste. I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can do that. I'll leave the tools, everything I use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one is a good important one is an iFixit screwdriver set or any screwdriver set will do, but I like these ones as they have one of the best bits out there. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a spatula, a plastic spatula. You will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, so it's really suitable to opening cases and covers. Also, you need a used or new toothbrush that's really handy to clean the fan and the mesh. You will need an alcohol, 99% or 98% isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic, whatever you call it. And you need one sheet of the workshop towel. And the reason is for the workshop towel, and I always say use workshop towel, don't use any microfiber towels. It's because as soon as you put an alcohol on top of this one and you want to clean the CPU or the GPU, this will rip apart and will not damage any component on the board. Unlike any microfiber towels that they can get tangled on the components and it can damage the board. Also, you need a good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can go over the board and get the best with thermal grizzly Why not? This is your preference, whichever you want. In this case, we're going to go with an MX4. So with all this on hand, let's get into it. So first thing first, power off the laptop, flip it upside down. And we're going to grab ourselves this screwdriver, Phillips number one. And first, we're going to remove these two service covers. On the right, we have the RAM up. Cover, so remove that screw and just put the screw right underneath and lift it up with a force upward. Right, put this right there and remove the hard drive cover and remove this cover. We're gonna remove four screws that touches the hard drive caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place, is that the small screws? So go around and remove four of them. I'll usually put it right on top of the cover so you don't mismatch them. We're going to lift up the hard drive gently. Don't pull it too hard because there's a flex cable right there. What you want to do is to use your finger, unplug this flex adapter right in here. Just pull it backwards so you don't damage the flex cable. There's a Toshiba 1 terabyte. Alright, now once we remove all these two covers and the hard drive from here, we're going to remove all the screws all around the cover in the mid, in the back. All of them and keep them in a one pile as they are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a commentary. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to open up the screen a little bit and you want to stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest. All you want to do, just twist it. You want to hear this big click sounds. That's what you want to hear all around in the front. So you might just twist, twist, go all around, walk yourself through. All right, it's taking about two or three millimeter. I'm not seeing the whole guitar pick in there. Just a little bit to just get that casing cracked up. Walk yourself towards the HDMI port. All right, once you get to the back, go to the right side and left side. Now that we remove most of them, we're going to grab it from the bottom, wiggle it around, and up and down a little bit, push it towards the back, and it will release the rest of the clips. Take it outside. You see there's a dust in here. You can clean this dust mesh, filter, everything like that. Clean it up nicely with a toothbrush. And down here we got two RAMs. I mean, they got down here we have the RAMs, the battery, and the two fans, and the heatsink right over there. Uh, it does look like a little bit of clock, but I can see hair coming out of this side. So before we do anything, we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling these two, by pulling this 
jack backwards right here use your finger don't pull on the cable just put your fingers on the side and pull them back all right now what we're going to do we're going to use a tweezers a curved or straight tweezers and i like to disconnect these jacks again by pulling this jack backward not pulling the cables this one right there these are the fan connector and this one over here, but we, I can't do it because of the back, uh, the screw right in here. So first we're going to unscrew this and lift up a little bit. So go ahead and remove the screw for the fan. There are four of them, two on each. Once you remove the screws for the fan, let's go ahead and remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws for the heat pipe that holds on the CPU and GPU. These are the chrome screws. They are the same again. Now that we remove that, we're gonna grab it from here. Lift it up gently. Now we grab from afar, grab near to here. Now we're gonna move it around and now we can release this cable that we removed right there. And look at this. Look at all this gunk right in there. This is the money shot right there. And I can see a whole big bunch right in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take it outside, use a toothbrush, and blow some air through here and clean up the fan. And uh, use a toothbrush to clean all the fans and everything like that. And I'll clean everything here with a towel, just blow some air through here, and I'll be back. All right, I took the fan outside, I cleaned up the heat sink. Now you can see nice and clean. Everything is nicely showing. So, what are we gonna do right now? We're gonna clean the old thermal paste. Also, if you're going to want to replace the thermal pads, the pads are one millimeter, except these two, these two are two millimeter, and the rest is one millimeter thermal pads. If you want to replace them, you can, but if you don't, don't replace them. These are still good. They're not dried up. So what we're going to do, we're going to just repaste. So to repaste, you need a little bit of the workshop towel. Grab an alcohol, soak it in there. And we're going to wipe over the GPU and you can see the tiny capacitors right there. That's what I'm talking about. You can just swipe in a circular motion. You can see this one rips apart, but will not damage the GPU. There we go. And same thing, remove the big portion of the thermal paste. Clean it with a dry part. We're gonna do the same thing on the CP on the heat sink. Now that we clean that one, we're gonna grab the thermal paste and we're gonna apply one blob right in the GPU and one line on the CPU. All right. And once we got that one in there, what you need to do is to bring the heat sink right over. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. Make sure the screw holes are matching, and you start putting the screws for the heat sink you can you always have to cross screw them there's a number right on there you can follow the numbers or as long as you cross screw them you're more than fine so i'm going to put one in that corner and one right on the opposite side one once i did a one this shape right here i'm going to do this opposite side on the cpu on the gpu i mean and then put the rest of the screws now we're going to slide down the fan connector inside the jack, just align it, make sure it goes straight in. You can lift up this fan a little bit, and you should use tweezers. There we go, it goes in place, move the cables out of the way, and now put the four screws for the fan that you removed. All right, once you're done with that, double check, make sure everything is in place, all the connection in there. Now we're going to grab the battery connector. You want to align it in front of the jack and you want to push it straight evenly inside the connector all the way in. All right, once you're done with that, you pretty much is done. What you want to do, grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push down the front. You're going to hear nice big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. If you see any gap open, just pinch them together with the palm rest and it will go to its place. Once you got that one in there, all you want to do, grab this connector, just be very gentle with it, and just work with the space that you got, push it in there, nicely put the hard drive on top, put the four screws for the caddy, 
and put the cover right on top of this hard drive just push it down it has to snap in same thing for the ram push it right on top and the rest of the screws are the same just put all the screws whatever you find in the screw hole that is right on the bottom cover again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own repaste and cleaning for your acer nitro 5 if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the rest of the screws on here.